Hi, I'm Rodney, and in this video I'm going to describe a special kind of insertion that you can use in domino reduction to turn any corner skeleton into multiple corner skeletons of the same move count, but with different edge permutations, which I call the corner swap insertion. Corner swap insertions work very similarly to slice insertions, so let me start out by talking about slice insertions. Uh, suppose I have uh, this skeleton uh, and it solves corners. So, so there's my corner solution, but the edges are all messed up. Uh, and there's too many messed up edges for me to really hope to solve this by inserting uh, edge permutation algorithms that I know. So what I'd really like to do is just generate other corner solutions by um, um, <coughs> that uh, have different edge outcomes. So the way, uh, one, uh, an easy way to do that is to uh, do slice insertions. Where I would I could insert uh, an M2 slice here, and I could insert an M2 slice here, and that would give me a different corner outcome. But there's another way to write that that doesn't involve um, the use of um, of slice moves. If I wanted to just write this as normal moves, I would write this as an insertion here and here. I would write R2 L2 insertion and R2 L2 insertion, and then in between I uh, I replace these moves with the transformed with the transformation of those moves uh, by a predictable rule. And that rule uh, is like this. U goes to D, um, F, F2 goes to B2, uh, R2s stay the same. Now, of course, doing this slice insertion is kind of like doing a regular algorithm insertion. I've replaced these seven moves here with a different set of seven moves. So I've done a 14 move uh, insertion and it canceled 14 because I didn't add any net move to, uh, to my, uh, to my five final move count. So this is a 14 minus 14 edge permutation algorithm insertion, but nobody knows that that algorithm. Uh, even insertion finder doesn't know that algorithm because if you give it the uh, if you give it the scramble generated by the insertions and give it the skeleton, it doesn't use that algorithm to solve it. It, it finds like a three three and a three that cancel ten minus ten and six minus six, so it finds the eight mover, but um, but not using that not using that algorithm. We can see what the effect of the algorithm is by uh, starting here, inverting, and then applying the insertion. And then the transform, and the and then the insertion again. So that would be D prime R two L two D prime uh, B two D R two D prime R two L two. Uh, and then we can see that that is a one two plus one two three uh, two e four e algorithm. No wonder no one has bothered to memorize a fourteen move two e four e algorithm. But that's the effect of our slice insertion. So what's a corner swap insertion? Corner swap insertion works the same way, except instead of inserting a slice, I insert a corner swap. A corner swap is uh, R2, F2, R2. That swaps these two corners, and it swaps these two corners. Um, so the way that works is I insert R2, F2, R2 here. I insert R2, F2, R2 here, and then I apply a transform in the middle. And the transform works like this. U goes to U prime, D goes to D prime. F2 goes to R2, and B2 goes to L2. That's crazy. Uh, look at the doc for uh, for how I derived this. Uh, an intuition for how this is derived. Um, the intuition behind how this is derived is it's uh, is the, the M two is like an R two L two in a rotation, right? The intuition be behind this is that um, the corner swap is like a reflection along this plane, um, and therefore um, the F an F two move when I reflect it on the plane becomes an R two move and B2 becomes L2, and U becomes U prime because when you rotate it and then reflect it, 
you rotate it and then you reflect it, and so that's like rotating in the opposite direction. Um, but there's a there's kind of an algebraic way to do to describe it. That's in the that's in the document. But to convince yourself it works, all you have to do is the same thing. I'm going to start here, apply the inverse insertion, um, transformed, and then the uh, other end of the insertion. So that's going to be u r two u prime f two u uh, r f r. Now this is u r two u prime f two u r2 f2 r2 my corners are solved uh, and the effect of this has been a one two three four a five a five e swap uh, so this corresponds to a 16 minus 16 <laughs> edge permutation algorithm because i actually this time replaced all eight um, moves with a different set of eight and my net is zero because here I canceled four, and here I canceled two, so I've got six minus six. So I have a completely new, um, completely new corner solution with different edge outcomes um, that I can generate without even looking at uh, looking at the cube just by writing this down. I have um, uh, th three possibilities for making this insertion because I can insert the second one here, or here, or here for that matter, um, and they'll all give me net zero move count and um, and give me diff different edge outcomes. Notice that um, the second half can be R2, F2, R2, but it can also be F2, R2, F2, because that does the same corner swap as R2, F2, R2. So that's why I can insert it here and cancel the F2. I can insert F2, R2, F2 here, insert, cancel the F2, or I can insert R2, F2, R2 here and uh, cancel the R2. If I had B2s or L2s, I could also cancel those because uh, B2, L2, B2, uh, or L2, B2, L2, both all do the same swap. So all four of those possibilities um, give me the same transformation and give me different options for canceling. So I can do, uh, let me just write that, R2, F2, R2, F2, uh, B2, L2, B2, and L2, B2, L2 are all options here and here uh, with the same transformation in the middle. So that was for uh, corner swap insertions that swap these pair of corners. I can also do a corner swap insertion that swaps these two pair of corners. Um, that would be R2, B2, R2, or BRB, uh, F2, L2, F2, or L2, F2, L2. Uh, and those have a different middle transformation. So let me write that down. So here I'm inserting R2, B2, R2, or B2, R2, B2, or L2, F2, L2, or F2, L2, F2, um, and similarly here. And in the middle, I have, again, U to U prime, D to D prime, but this time, F2s go to L2s, because I'm, uh, because uh, th those, are the those are the, because I'm swapping those two, um, and B2s goes to go to R2s. So I can um, I can cancel I can cancel moves no matter what I have in here. If I have F twos I can uh, I can uh, I can cancel with an F two R two F two. If I have R twos I can R two F two R two. I can so whatever whatever occurs in here I can choose one of these to cancel and get net net zero net zero moves. But wait, there's more because I can uh, chain these together. I can chain. Uh, corner swap and a slice insertion, and the transformation will just be this transformation followed by this transformation. In other words, I can also insert um, an R2, F2, L2, uh, and on the other side I would insert L2, F2, R2, um, and then in the middle, um, just to say, uh, so u goes to u prime, which goes to d prime. So it's u goes to d prime, uh, d goes to u prime. Uh, R2s go to F2s, which go to B2s, right? So it's going to, these are actually going to not be a swap. They're going to be R2 goes to B2, B2 goes to L2, L2 goes to F2. And F2 goes to R2. 
uh, and then I can start with any of the equivalent um, uh, e equivalent um, uh, swaps here. In other words, in, in addition to R2, F2, L2, I can also do F2, L2, B2, or I can do L2, B2, R2, or I can do B2, R2, F2. And then on this side, L2, F2, R2, or F2, R2, B2, or R2, B2, L2, or B2, L2, F2. And then there's the mirror of that one, which looks like starting with this direction and ending with this direction. So here I can do L2, F2, R2, uh, etc. And here I do R2, F2, L2, etc. And then the transformation is different. U to D prime is in a different direction. D to U prime, um, R2 goes to F2, um, F2 goes to L2, L2 goes to B2, and um, B2 goes to R2. Crazy, right? The doc explains uh, how you can come up with these, but uh, let me just show you that it works. I'm going to make do the insertion that it cancels two here, so that's R2 after R2. Uh, sorry, that cancels four, and here the one that cancels two, so it's going to be L2 F2 R2 to B, uh, and so that looks like this: U R2 U prime F2 U R2 F2 L2. That's my insertion. Now the transform. That's D R2 D prime. B2, D, L2, F2, R2. So uh, that's my edge swap. It's 1, 2, 3, 4E plus 2E, a different 4E, 2E. Now uh, let me just generate all the, all the corner swap insertions that I can that will uh, <laughs> net me zero moves um, and our variance of this corner solution. So I'm going to start, I'm going to insert the first one here uh, and the last one uh, at the end. I'm going to do R2, F2, R2, so it cancels, and R2, F2, R2 here. So uh, <coughs> so inserting is, uh, this is easy, I just remove, uh, the, uh, that insertion is going to remove this F, and this insertion is going to put an F in front of here, so that makes it easy to write. So this is going to be R2 and then transform. That's going to be U, R2, U prime, F2, U, then this becomes uh, um, R2, uh, R2, F2. Right, R2, F2, R2. Now, uh, the next one is going to uh, do an insertion here. So, uh, so I'm going to insert here and here. So this, that's going to start the same, but here, instead of F2, I'm going to have R2, F2. Then my insertion is done, so I continue normally. So that's U prime R2. All right, and then finally I can insert here, um, and then, so that's going to be R2U, and then here instead of R2, that's going to be um, F2R2, and then that's going to continue uh, like the normal solution, U, R2, U prime, R2. So that's three alternates right there. Now let's generate the insertions that combine a corner swap with a slice. So that's going to be uh, here to cancel four, I want R2, F2, L2. Uh, so that makes this L2, and then I'm going to go into here. So that's uh, D, R2, D prime, B2, D, and then L2, F2, R2 to cancel that. So that's one. Uh, if I back it up to here, then um, instead of this R2, I have an L2, F2 here. Uh, then I continue normally. So that goes to U prime R2. Uh, and then if I insert here, I start with this. And then here, I'm going to generate, uh, I'm going to, uh, to cancel the F2, I need to do B2, L2, F2. So that's B2, L2. And then I can uh, continue normally, U, R2, U prime, R2. So uh, now in, in addition to my uh, for, uh, original skeleton, I have one, two, three, four, five, six alternatives I can test to see how they do for, um, for edges. Let me test them out. 
So we'll start with the inverse r2 u r2 u by f2 u r2 f2. And then over this r2 u r2 by f2 u r2 f2. I'm going to back this out and do this f2 r2 u by f2 r2 f2 u by r2. Okay, f2 r2 u r2. And now here r2 u r2 u by r2. All right, uh, let's test these bottom ones now. L2 D, R2 D prime, D2 D, L2 F2, that's one. I'm going to back this out. And then do L2 D prime, R2. And then this one, L2 D, L2 D, R2 D2, L2 D, L2 D, R2. All right. I'm sure you can see the potential here. You can think of this as a way to beat insertion finder. Many of the cases that I wrote down that are solved by uh, a corner swap insertion are not found by insertion finder. Insertion finder, in many cases, finds multiple insertions for a net plus four moves. It doesn't find the eight mover that you get from a corner swap insertion. So it's pretty clear that just going straight to um, insertions after you get a corner skeleton is not the right strategy. You should generate some of these alternate corner solutions uh, and here's a systematic way to do it. This does work for any corner solution, doesn't matter how you found it, whether you memorized it for the speed cubing uh, you know, case memorization, or, or whether you found it on the fly using hyperparity. If you use the hyperparity maze, you would have multiple candidates, uh, different original skeletons that you can expand in this way. In the example I used for this video, I was able to cancel all six uh, moves of the insertion because it started with a double side move, F2, R2. I was able to cancel four. Um, in general, you won't be able to do that, but you will always be able to cancel at least four of the six. So the cost is going to be at most um, net plus two moves to generate the whole suite of, of corner swap generated alternate corner skeletons. The key thing to remember here is uh, anytime you were about to do a U-turn, if you insert a corner swap, R2, F2, R2, uh, before that U-turn, you end up in the same place in the hyperparity maze, which means you haven't got made your corners any farther away from solved. So that's a free insertion, and you can use that when you're constructing your original corner skeleton. For example, if the <coughs> set of move that you had before that U, U move is an R2 move, then in addition to L2, the wide move, you can also try F2, R2, B2, R2, F2, L2, and B2, L2. All of those bring you just as close to solved corners, cost you at most one move, uh, and give you lots of more chances to form blocks. So keep that in mind as you're doing your original finding your corner solution. Check it out, and uh, let me know how it goes.